So I'm going to give a quick demonstration of the main verse groove for Blur's Song 2. Um, it's a two bar pattern uh, with a high tom played on the forehand of the first bar and floor tom played on the forehand of the second bar. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, the ride pattern is played on the hoop of the floor tom, so we're playing our eights there. And the first thing I'm going to show is just at a slow tempo, uh, the groove without the, the toms included, uh, so you can listen to the bass drum part and uh, see how that sounds and just kind of memorise the pattern. It's very simple. Here we go. Okay, so remember the bass drum pattern. Boom, ba, boom, boom, ba, boom, boom, ba, boom, boom, ba. Okay, now let's do it with the toms in there, again at a slow tempo. There you have it. I'll now play it at the tempo of the song, <coughs> pardon moi, uh, more or less, and it goes like this. That's it. So, uh, for the chorus of song two, um, the drummer's over to a very sloshy hi-hat sound and playing with a heavy accent on the quarter notes on one, two, three, and four. So the um, hi-hat is played Just relax my foot a little bit, just enough to get that sloshy sound. And you know, depending on taste and the appropriateness of uh, how you're playing the song, you can make that a little bit looser even. And so on and so forth. Uh, you know, it depends on how much you hate your neighbors, really. Um, okay, then uh, the bass drum pattern is pretty simple. Uh, well, it's kind of similar, but we get something like this. I'll play a, a sensible tempo. I think there might even be some extra basses thrown in there as well. Um, so depending on how you feel, you can make it more like... Something like this. Um, and again, at the tempo of the song. There you go again, very simple and straightforward. Um, make sure you listen out for where the crashes go, there's quite a lot of crashing going on there. Um, and again, when you're playing in a smaller environment, you might wanna 
be sensible with that. There you go. 